Terry had worked for 1,000 straight days without an absence of any kind. And state law mandated that he take at least two weeks' vacation. Now, I know he didn't want to go, but I'm sure he's having a great time down there. Look, man, fun is fun. Ain't no problem with chilling when the chilling's right. But when things ain't happening the way they're supposed to happen, you know Triple T gonna condense the nonsense. Just because I'm on vacation, don't mean I'm out to lunch. I come to play, baby. Justin, I ordered those eggs 40 minutes ago. Don't make me scramble you again, son. Uh, we were aware that Mr. Tate was a discerning guest, but it seems that we weren't fully prepared for exactly how discerning he was. <laughs> Truly, I've never seen anything like it. During his stay here, our hotel was never more efficient. Hey! Hey, hey! That trap ain't punch, baby! That trap ain't punch! Quite simply. Mr. Tate was the best guest we have ever had here. And I think we actually got him to loosen up a bit and enjoy his vacation. Of course, it goes without saying, Mr. Tate is welcome back here anytime. Terry here, the office environment deteriorated rapidly. Things went from bad to worse to downright strange. With Terry back, everything quickly returned to business as usual. You get me to be torn! I'll be here! Woo! I just pray it's another thousand days before we have to do without him again. Well, Terry's back, and I got a new game for you. It's called How Much Pain Can Gene Stand Before Gene Learns Not to Play Games Anymore? That's my game. That's Terry's game. And when it's game time, it's pay time, baby. Woo! And with the third pick in the draft, Felcher and Sons <coughs> selects Courtney Kate, linebacker. It's not that we think Terry's lost a step, far from it. We simply took the best athlete available at our position in the draft. Terry who? Look, man, I ain't playing the name game up in here. There's a reason why Mr. Felcher chose me in the first round. I'm an impact player. Do I look worried to you? Man, ain't nobody downsizing this. I'm done when I say I'm done. Besides, a little healthy competition in the workplace never hurt anybody. To be honest, there was a bit of a learning curve before Terry and Courtney were fully able to appreciate their working relationship. Uh, uh, I'll knock your ass out all day! Uh, where's your food shop, baby? But after some initial friction... No, no baby, play you play that boy! No, play you play you play that boy! Room, that's what you room, are! Room, 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 room. Terry and Courtney were able to find a mutual, results-based respect. To a reception. The restroom's a privilege, not a right, punk. Nice play, baby. But once Terry and Courtney realized we're all on the same team here at Felcher and Sons, everything gelled. And it's true what they say. There's only one thing better than having a linebacker in your office, and that's having two linebackers in your office. <laughs> Sadly, due to recent salary cap restrictions imposed by the league, we could only keep one of our office linebackers. And though Courtney certainly showed the raw talent for the position, well, let's just say mistakes were made. Ah! Oh, Timmy, 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 you can't come up in here dressed like that, son. This ain't Club Man, baby. 
but it's casual Friday. What's up, y'all? Damn! So, we reassigned Courtney to Felcher and Sons Europe, where he'll get more playing time to improve his skills. Hey, John, how are you, huh? <gasps> that ain't your cake, Philip! That's the moon's cake! You eat someone else's cake again, and I'm gonna give you a slice of Tony Special pain cake! And you won't! Well, seconds of that! Sports Programming Network. Bringing you the pain. The pleasure. And the glory of the office world since 1978. And finally, we've come to the moment you've all been waiting for. OSPN's number one all-time office athlete of the century. There can be little doubt that this man changed the very sport itself with his speed, skill, and sheer stick to -itiveness. I speak of none other than number 56 himself, terrible Terry Tate, office linebacker. You can't hurt this! I'm a machine, Gene! I'm built for this, son! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Devastating. But Terry Tate wasn't always the mean machine we know and love today. Let's take a look back and see from whence this office athlete came, shall we? Like many children, Terry was born. Sometime later, Terry attended high school. After graduating as valedictorian and captain of the football team, Terry decided to accept a full scholarship to major university. And it was while attending major university that Terry reached a fork in the road. A fork of destiny. During his halcyon collegiate days, Terry experimented with a freelance mime troupe and discovered a talent that even he didn't know he had. He could have been one of the greats. The world was his tacit oyster. Terence could have had everything that comes with being a world-class pantomime, the adulation, the wealth, the women, but... Terry had his demons, and eventually, his demons had him. Hey, Diamond Diggity Dave, how you doing? Ah, oh, nothing. I'm just watching some guy do like a sign language performance or something. I don't know what it is. What happened? No way. Come on. Excuse me. Yeah, in a minute, Chachi. I don't know, some helmet's yammering in my ear. You know how it is. Right. You're kidding me. You respect the arts, or the arts will respect you. Your ass trapped in my box now, baby. Terry's paying in my box of pain. And there ain't no escape from that. Woo! From the moment I saw him, I knew that Terry was exactly what Team Felcher needed. We had experimented with other office athletes before, though without what one might call success. So it was that Terry Tate, office linebacker, came to be. And Felcher and Sons would never be the same again. <laughs> you can't walk away from a K-22 paper jam! You must be out of your mind, son! This is my world, Donnie! You just work here, baby! Employee, linebacker. Linebacker, employee. There truly aren't enough words to describe what this athlete brings to the office environment. And that's why there is no one more deserving of OSPN's Office Athlete of the Century Award than Terry Tate, office linebacker. Look, man, there ain't no secret to success in business or in life. The solution is simple, baby. 100% hard, all day, every day. Only quitters quit, and Triple T is a hitter. Huh. Not a quitter. Believe that. Ah! Oh, yeah! 